Hi guys, so we're gonna do a video today on strengthening and bringing a bit more awareness to the glute muscles. So um, helping to strengthen these can be really beneficial in your practice as well as in your everyday life. So sometimes when the glute muscles aren't firing properly, it can almost cause a lot more tension coming into the lower back. Um, so this is just gonna to help to bring a bit more strength into those. You'll need a block or a nice sort of firm cushion or something uh, to use for this practice. So if you've got something available, grabbing that now. So this is gonna be mainly floor based. We'll start off on our backs. I'm gonna bring um, the feet closer to your hips and set up for bridge pose. So if you touch in with the very tips of the fingers onto the backs of the heels, have the heels directly underneath the knees and knees hip distance apart. So bringing the block, um, I prefer to take it on the second setting as it keeps the legs hip distance apart for me. If you've got quite narrow hips, you might want to take it onto the first setting. So I'm going to place that in between the thighs. Take a moment here to start to bring the lower vertebrae of the spine down. So you'll notice that ever such a slight tuck of the pelvis. And then squeeze the inner thighs towards the block. So you just notice what's happening around your glutes as you do this. And then just coming to release. So we'll take a few more squeezes like this. Try and keep um, the lower back uh, connected to the ground. Inhale to squeeze and then exhaling to release. Inhaling to squeeze, exhaling to release and then squeezing once again. This time squeezing a bit harder. Now try and actually squeeze the glutes a bit more. So you can feel almost like the muscles wrapping around from the hips uh, all the way round to you underneath your glutes and then exhaling to release. So now we're going to come to squeeze the block in and slowly lifting up vertebrae by vertebrae coming to a bridge pose. So squeezing the blocks nice and tightly against the inner thighs, squeezing the glutes. You might even just um, Place your hands here to feel what's happening into the outer glutes. Keep squeezing and then try and lengthen the femur bone, so from the top of the hip all the way to the knees. Long breath. Full exhalation. Long breath. And then exhale, releasing all the way back down. Release the grip of the glutes as well. And just take the block away for a moment and take some windscreen wipers. If you take the hands out a bit wider, rocking to the inside and outside edge to the right, to the center and over to the left. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can feel my glutes sort of firing up and that warmth within them. Uh, we're going to take a few more poses in bridge. So this is optional. Um, you can lift um, your right foot on the next one or you can keep it onto the ground. So just seeing how you feel with that. So we're going to imagine that the block is still there. Imagine that squeezing of the glutes and then start to physically do that action. Slowly begin to roll up. So keeping the grounding of your left leg, you might come up onto your right tip toes and then extend that leg out. Try and keep your hips lifted and square squeezing that right glute. Then on the exhale, you might keep that leg lifted as you roll down. So you can do this with both feet to the ground as well. Inhale to lift. Maybe just coming up onto the right tiptoes instead. Exhaling to roll down. 
Inhaling to the lift. This time you might extend the leg up towards the ceiling. Try and keep your uh, hips parallel. Exhaling, bring the leg back to the front and all the way down. Bringing both feet back to the ground. And we'll just uh, roll the hips from side to side. Okay, so coming to set up for the other side. So once again, optional with the leg lift, maybe just coming up onto the tiptoes instead. Inhale to squeeze the glutes and roll up. We'll come up onto the left tiptoes, maybe extending that leg forward. Try and keep the lift of the front of that pelvis. Exhale, rolling down. Inhaling to lift. Exhale, rolling down. Inhaling to lift. This time perhaps extending the leg up to the ceiling. Keeping steady on that right foot. Inhaling, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, bring the foot back to the center and rolling all the way down. Releasing both legs and just moving the pelvis from side to side. Come to hug the knees into the chest. Great. Okay, so the next um, thing we're going to do is we're going to come onto the right side of the body. We're going to bring the block and place it underneath the head. Slide the right arm out long. We're going to have the knees bent about 45 degrees. The heels are going to be in line with your hips. Flex out through the heels. So on your inhale, we're going to open the top knee away from the bottom knee. Try and keep the uh, ankles as if they're bound. Exhaling down. So inhaling to lift. Exhaling down. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling. Deep breath in to lift up. Exhale. And then inhaling and exhaling down. Okay, so now we're going to extend that leg out long. Turn the toes just slightly up towards the ceiling and draw the leg slightly back. And we begin to pulse that leg up and down. So it should be coming round about here into your glute muscle. Try and keep steady in the pelvis and avoid this hip from coming too far forward. So maybe you're taking those swings a bit larger now. Nice long breath in. And exhale, deep breath, and then back to the center, try and hold for one, two, and three, gently releasing back down. Okay, so we're gonna roll onto the back of the body. And taking that reclined pigeon pose, so your left heel over the top of the right thigh, Flex out through the foot. Here might be plenty and just engaging that knee towards the front of the room. Or you might come to interlace your hands behind the right thigh. So nice, full, smooth inhales and long exhalations. So you should feel that place where we've just been working So we'll make our way over to the other side. 
I'll just switch sides of the mat so you can see me from the front again. Extend the left arm out long this time and take the block to rest underneath your head. So you're making sure that the heels are roughly behind the hips. Imagine those bound ankles as we inhale to lift the right knee away and exhaling to roll down. Inhaling to lift, exhaling down. So just continuing with the inhales and the exhalations to lift and lower. So really nice controlled movements here. We'll take another full breath to lift and exhale to lower down. Great. So extending now that right leg, toes are going to slightly turn up to the ceiling, legs are going to come a little bit back and then begin to pulse. So once again we want the sort of sensation to be sort of here from the side of the hip into that glute muscle. Try and stabilize through your pelvis. So keeping the control, keeping the breath nice and long and deep. And then perhaps coming to take the movement slightly bigger. So exaggerating the pulses. You may even feel that your IT band starts to get a bit involved here. <laughs> nice full breaths. And then we're going to hold for one, two, and three. Gently release that leg all the way down. Okay, we'll make our way onto the back of the body. This time the right heel on top of the left thigh, pressing the knee towards the front of the room, flexing out and activating through the foot, and perhaps hugging your left thigh in towards the chest. I'm just feeling onto this side, noticing where you feel this space, so you can probably feel the muscles you've worked. Feel maybe a tiny bit of um, sensation and that activation into that side. Okay, wonderful. So we'll bring both shins into the chest now, hugging them in. Okay, so thank you for joining me for um, this video today. Uh, you might want to go ahead and do your regular yoga practice now so you can really feel in each movement how you can engage your glutes or how you can, um, the glutes can help with that sort of external rotation around um, the hips and just bringing a lot more awareness to the glutes within the practice. If not, you might want to just take this practice as a strengthener on its own and doing it maybe twice or three times a week is really going to help to improve your glute uh, tone as well as strength into the glutes. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on more videos. Namaste.